Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and today I have something a little different to share. Um, I've been switching it up, kind of going back to what I used to film when I first started my channel. I definitely enjoy just bringing you guys along with whatever I have going on, whether that is spending some time with me in the kitchen, cooking some yummy goodness, or sharing what I picked up at the store, whether it's online or in store or groceries being delivered, whatever. Uh, but one thing that I don't do that often is bring you guys along with me when I'm hanging out with my family. Now, I do like to, in the beginning, I used to share it all, and over the past couple of years, I have put the camera down, put the phone down, um, not taken as many pictures when we're out and about or filmed a whole lot. Well, I had a message come through over on Instagram, I believe, and I'm so sorry, I forgot your name. I am the worst at remembering names, but somebody asked, they mentioned like, Hey, we might be coming into the San Antonio, Texas area, which is where I live. And they asked what was there to do around the area with kids. Now there is a ton to do a lot of sightseeing places and stuff like that. But when it comes to kids, I'm going to show you guys what mine like because you know they get to go to the alamo and i feel yeah they went to the river walk some of the more laid back areas not you know a whole lot to do it's a lot of history they do that kind of stuff with the schools so we don't really do that on our own i went to the alamo like four or five times I've been there a lot. So there's definitely things that you can do. A lot of the missions, they're all around. There's about five of them around the Alamo as well. So if you guys wanna do stuff like that, definitely just in your Google online search things to do in San Antonio, sites to see, and you will get a whole lot to do. What I'm gonna start doing over the next several months um, and just going forward, whenever I take the kids somewhere, wherever, whether it's just me or you know the whole family is going, I'm gonna bring you guys along, share with you what it costs, the tickets, all of that, and what we are doing. Now, we are a family of six, so depending on what we're doing, it is gonna cost us a pretty penny. The bigger your family is, the more it costs you to do things, right? So today it's just going to be five of us. My oldest Paige is staying home. You know, she's at that age now where she gets to kind of pick and choose what she <laughs> does with us. She'll be 18 this summer, but the younger three are going to be with us. So again, if you are new, my name is Vanessa. I am married to my husband, Mark, and then our four children, Paige, who is almost 18. The next in line is Bryce. He is our only son and he just turned 11 in January. And then we have twin girls, Rose and Pearl, who are nine. They will be 10 in November. So we definitely have our hands full. So today, the younger three, Bryce, Rose and Pearl, are going to be with us. And I'm sitting here in the office because I'm gonna show you guys the website first, the prices, all of that. But I am gonna bring you guys along with us a little bit today as well. So what we are doing today is, let me show you. So what prompted this is I have been, there is a Ripley's area downtown in San Antonio, and I have been there before, but it has been years. I took Paige when she was probably nine, 10 years old, probably around the same time, same age as the younger kids are now, but they have a lot more. So what prompted this is we went to Six Flags. We do have season passes. I'm gonna bring you guys to Six Flags as well the next time we go and share a little bit of that just in case you've never been to a Fiesta Texas Six Flags, that kind of amusement park before. But there was a haunted house there and we didn't realize that it was, there were certain times that you could go to the haunted house and it wasn't the same time that the park was open. So we missed out on it and the kids are really bummed. So I just did a quick search on other like haunted houses that are okay for kids in the San Antonio area and this one popped up. So this is a whole thing, <laughs> downtown San Antonio. It's actually right across the street from the Alamo. So it does have, let's see, we'll click attractions info. So it has a Guinness World Record Museum where you can see, you know, if you guys have ever had those books, Bryce, when I was showing him this, he's like, yeah, I have one of those books in my classroom at school. So I used to have all of these books. I would buy one every single year it came out um, when Paige was younger and we would look through it together. So it has a world record museum, but there's a new feature 
feature and it's the attempt arena. It says take a chance at breaking a world record during your visit. So we'll see if any of the kids want to do that. So there's that museum. There's also the haunted adventure, which is what I was really excited about for the kids. Hopefully it's not too scary, but we're going to go check it out. And then I will let you guys know based off of my kids ages. So you can make decisions for your family, but we're going to go there. There is a tomb rider 3d ride. As you can see here in the picture, it's the one where you have the little guns and you can shoot targets and you'll have a score. I'm assuming like right here, there's a little screen and your score adds up. So those are a lot of fun. The kids really enjoy these. It's a special effect 3d adventure ride. And then I know there's more because I bought that just shows three of them. I bought, let me go over here to the tickets. Yeah, the super combo. So this is what we bought because there's actually more. So there's a wax museum and then there's a 4D moving theater. So we're gonna do all five of them today while I'm here. And we've been to the wax museum before. Well, Paige and I, that's really cool. So you can see here for all five of them, it was $64.99 per adult. So obviously Mark and me, we got two of those. And then the children are $44.99. And that's for the five different attractions. You can buy them separately as well. I'll go back and show you guys. Um, but we just did everything. We're going to get it all done today because each thing is like the rides are, I think it said about 10, 15 minutes. And then the museums can be anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes. It just depends on how slow you want to walk through them. So here it tells you a little bit. Tomb Rider 3D, newest attraction is a multi-million dollar special effect 3D interactive adventure ride. The Guinness World Record Museum, record-breaking facts and feats documented by Guinness come to life at the Guinness World Records Museum. Ripley's Haunted Adventure, live actors lurk behind every corner of this creepy renovated mansion just waiting to welcome you to their home. Ripley's 4D Moving Theater, state-of-the-art motion simulator where you actually ride the movies and experience every bump, dip, and turn. The Waxworks, Louis Tuzads, who I hope I'm saying that, Waxworks, experience the world of movie stars and historical figures past and present over 200 lifelike figures and amazing detail from the famous to the infamous. And then Ripley's Believe It or Not Auditorium, oh, I forgot about this little area, features the largest collection of the odd and unusual from all corners of the world. So we definitely got a lot of things going on there. And I don't know if I said that, I just pointed, but it was $44.99 for each child. So that is if you want to do all five, but they do have a lot of different things you can do. So you can just do the first three that were on the main page of this website, the Haunted Adventure, the 3D Tomb Raider, and then the Guinness World Records, or you can just pick two of them. But we're going to go ahead and do all five today so we can show you. And then here's the single ones right here. So just the ride is $23.99. Just the haunted house is $23.99. And just the Guinness World Records is $23.99. I guess it doesn't show you the auditorium. I feel like the auditorium when I went last time is like right after the Guinness World Records. Like it's the same thing. It's combined in there. I'm not sure. I will be sharing as much as I can. Here's the address, 329 Alamo Plaza, San Antonio, Texas, 78205. And then I will have the website, this website in the description box if you guys want to check it out. But just in case you wanted to like map that and see how it, how far away it was from you guys. If you are in the area, you've never been here, or if you are coming into San Antonio, if you wanted to see where that was based on your hotel or Airbnb, whatever. It is open 365 days a year. They do have some different times here, uh, depending on days that you are going. All right, so that is what is on the agenda today. I'm going to corral the children so they can get ready and we can head out the door. And if you guys, enjoy this style of video and want to see more of what San Antonio has to offer, whether it is, I don't know, trying out restaurants, sharing with you guys some food from restaurants or places for the kids or things that maybe Mark and I do like that are maybe still a little kid friendly, but he and I do on our own. Just let me know. I would love to get y'all's feedback and see if this is something that you would enjoy seeing more of on my channel, just the sites and what to do around San Antonio.
All right, Bryce is gonna try his first world record. Go. Mark's gonna try to beat this world record. I'm now. not gonna beat the world record. I should be the kid. I said try. Okay, ready? <laughs> Go. Go. All right, you guys, I'm popping on here real quick with a little voiceover during this part. I handed the camera off to Pearl. So I wanted to try the drum as well, and it was a lot of fun doing some of these. I didn't, I definitely did not capture as much as I could have. I was, you know, in the moment with my family, but like I said, it was a lot of fun. I ended up, I don't think she quite caught it on camera, but I ended up at 5.58. So out of the five of us, Mark definitely won with 5.66.
places I've never been But you can walk through this world without a few punches upon your chin I think I lost you somewhere between 20 and 23 But I still hold you dear despite the heartbreak you caused in me Cause you were with me through my nights And you filled the darkness with shining lights yeah. We are done with our day at downtown San Antonio. So everywhere that we went is right across from the Alamo. That's the location that all of this stuff is at. And we actually found, I took just a couple pictures. There's another place down the street, just a little bit that has a mirror maze, a, like a laser room, some escape rooms, and then just like a couple other fun things at the very top level. It's a three level. We're like leaving the parking garage right now. That's why you're like light, dark, light, dark. <laughs> um, but it's a really nice area. It was really cool. We didn't get to do everything. We have run out of time. We didn't know that the other place was there. So we were able to do the mirror maze and the laser tag, or not laser tag, but like a laser room. So a lot of fun things downtown San Antonio. Um, lots of hands-on things not just, you know, sightseeing in historic places if your kids are, you know, you know how kids get over that kind of thing, right? So, I am glad that we could bring you guys along and share with you a little bit of our day today. Rose, what was your favorite thing that we did today? Oh, and there's a candy store, so they're all eating candy right now. The 4D ride. The 4D ride? Pearl, what was yours? Haunted house. The haunted house, oh yeah, so Mark and Pearl are the only ones that did the haunted house. Bryce, what was your favorite thing that we did today? Um, the laser thing. Oh yeah, yeah, he did He did that a couple yeah, times. Cool. All right, you guys, we are now on the highway heading home. Sun is starting to set, but I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us for a little bit today. I kind of just filmed as much as I could. Oh, there was one place I couldn't really film inside. It was very, very crowded in there. The auditorium, Ripley's auditorium. Um, so I didn't really get a whole lot, but whatever footage I got, you guys, saw it all. I shared a lot on Instagram. Like I mentioned, I always share my day over there. So if you guys want to follow me, it's Lemonade Mom 4 and you guys will get to see what I am up to before anything goes up on YouTube. So with that, give this video a big thumbs up. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And if you would like to see more videos like this, just parts of San Antonio, they will definitely be very relaxed vlog style. Um, let me know in the comments and maybe next time we are out and about, I will bring you guys along. All right. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.